Like and subscribe. What is a political hill you are willing to die on? Everyone's first priority should be radically stronger anti-corruption laws, because otherwise nobody will give a about your second priority. The two-party system is garbage. Science shouldn't be political. Separation of church and state. If your only basis for establishing a law is a religious text, then the law has no business being applied to the broader population. Asterisk SORTS by controversial. Lol I thought about it, but then thought will I be OOP here oh 5 minutes from now, if I do that? Prisons should not be for-profit institutions. Political campaigns should not be decided by wealth. Everyone gets an equal shot. This isn't college football. People should not be in prison for non-violent marriage or unrelated crimes. You shouldn't have to choose between going bankrupt or dying. That I'm not willing to die for people's politics. The US government has no power or right to abolish private ephemeral conversations via backering or prohibiting encryption, no matter what its rationale. So many of my politics have changed in the past several decades, but I will die on this hill, secure encryption, to the extent that this is possible technologically, https, slash slash www, youtube, com slash watch. V equals F U P S T X C Q Y U S is an individual right and governments which infringe it ought to be defied and subverted. Even if it causes social problems. Even if it supposedly makes us less safe. I support an amendment to the US Constitution guaranteeing a well-defined right to privacy. One more. Civil asset forfeiture, as it currently is, is superstitious legal voodoo. It should not be possible to seize assets before a guilty conviction. And this business of naming property as a defendant is an ugly absurdity which constitutes nothing shot of tyranny. Ranked choice voting should be implemented everywhere, at all levels of government, yesterday. The everyday people are meant to direct the government. They are our voice. Their positions of power are not for personal moral gain. They are not meant to pose as divisive pawns in a quest for domination. They are not meant to ride on high horses and direct us on what to do, and how to spend our money. That the government should work for the people, not the other way round. Your environmental policy is If it does not include nuclear power. There is nothing more distrustful than a politician uttering the word temporarily. We must protect the environment for long term selfish reasons. Republicans are red, Democrats are blue, neither of them give a about you. Capitalism is predatory, dehumanizing, and a failure, especially when applied as a system of government or a nation's culture. Congress should not be a career. Change the people in the seats. Theo have been there too long. Get rid of gerrymandering. Politicians should never have the ability to choose their voters. Not everyone needs to go to college. As soon as people realize this college prices will drop drastically. The vast majority of politicians are our souls. Until education improves vastly, mandatory voting is a bad idea. We should give people every opportunity to vote, but forcing people to vote who don't care slash don't understand enough about the topics, will turn it even more into a celebrity popularity contest. Term limits. Term limits. Term limits. No reason someone should be in Congress slash Senate for 10, 20, 30 plus years. They stay for the power, and come out rich. Wonder how that happens. Being in government is supposed to be a service position. Service. No one should get rich by being a politician. Also, all politicians should have absolutely transparent finances, so we know they are not being bought by companies in exchange for laws tailored for them. I have a few. 
decriminalize all drugs, tax the rich until everyone is housed and fed, expel any presence of religious ideology in politics, and there can be no change too forceful or extreme to stop climate change. Edit. A lot of people are interested in the background behind these, so I'll break it down just a little. 1. The War on Drugs. There has been no evidence that the war on drugs slowed down drug use. In fact, while people were being put in prison for choosing what to do with their own bodies, the pharmaceutical industry has already been getting people hooked on the most harmful drugs of all, opiates. Weed is at worst a neutral substance that relaxes people, and psychedelics are immensely helpful and post it are of substances that are transforming the mental health industry. The real reason behind the war on drugs was to imprison black people and anti-war protesters. Donna, believe me? Check out this quote from one of Nixon's top aides. The Nixon campaign in 1968, and the Nixon White House after that, had two enemies, the entire left and black people. You understand what I am saying? We knew we cold know it make it illegal to be either against the war or black, but by getting the public to associate the hippies with marijuana and blacks with heroin, and then criminalizing both heavily, we could disrupt those communities. We could arrest their leaders, raid their homes, break up their meetings, and vilify them night after night on the evening news. Did we know we were lying about the drugs? Of course we did. John Ehrlichman. 2. Taxing the rich. Current estimates place the cost of housing all homeless people in the US at $20 billion. That is just 10% of Jeff Bezos' net worth alone. When we add the rest of the richest 1%, we can easily provide free housing for the homeless, and free college and healthcare for all Americans, and the richest 1% will still own obscenely huge houses and yachts. To add to that point, I'd like to include a quote about the financial world. To turn $100 to $110 is work. To turn $100 million into $110 million is inevitable the reality is that once you get to a certain point in wealth, you do not work for any wealth you gain after that. It just happens. The richest 1% makes more than most will in their entire lives during a single night of sleeping. Before Reagan destroyed the economy, the richest in the USA could be taxed up to 90% of their wealth that paid for our status as a world power. It paid for oats, education, social services, and incentivized US companies to spend their wealth in America, they got tax breaks for spending on their own businesses within the US. 3. Expel religion from politics. This should be self-explanatory. The US Constitution only mentions religion a couple of times, and it errs for the purpose of keeping it separate from government. The US starting owning its identity as a white Christian nation during the 50 years and 60 years specifically as a way to employ communist style control on the populace. This is when under God was added to the pledge, when in God we trust was added to money and the national prayer breakfast started. This emboldened generations of white Christians to believe they inherited an autocracy to impose on every American. 4. Climate change. The entire world should implement the Green New Deal immediately. That is all I have to say on this, since the science is already out there, and it is not really worth arguing with anyone who disagrees. Most Republican slash right-wing politicians just have weird, outdated ideas. You are allowed to oppose one or two or fifty policies and philosophies of your selected political candidate or slash and party. Likewise, you are allowed to subscribe to one or two or fifty policies and philosophies of the opposing political candidate or slash and party. You are not two-faced. You are not a traitor. You are not an Nazi or a Wokey. You are open-minded. That the American people are being used as cattle. Our lives are siphoned off by corporations and politicians who work together to pass laws that keep us enslaved, ignorant, unhealthy, and at war. Socialism is trash and the idiots who call themselves socialist and blame everything on capitalism tend to know nothing about either. Women's rights. Including abortion rights. I literally would give up my life for other women to have equal rights. No you wouldn't. I get to own a fully functional tank. 
dental and optical care should be included with medical. Both can have a major impact on the overall well-being of a person. And with that, medical care is a right, not a privilege. The ATFs. Guys my name is a joke. Socialism and equality cannot coexist. Capitalism and equality cannot exist. This one would be popular on Reddit asterisk or asterisk I roll, but, the second amendment was a mistake. Where would all be better off, if the government had a monopoly on guns? Private, mass gun ownership causes far more harm and violence than it solves, and I think it is downright ridiculous, that anyone believes otherwise. Bring on the down votes. Edit, and the down votes are here. It still amazes me how Reddit can be left of center on almost every issue asterisk EXCEPT asterisk guns. Edit hash 2, what do you know, I actually have way more upvotes than downvotes now. I guess Reddit isn't as pro-gun as I thought. How exactly do you think America was founded to begin with? How exactly do you think that would have went, if the British had all the guns? Being able to vote for whoever you want to without being threatened and harassed. Gun laws need to be stronger. 100% background checks for every sale and safety class should be mandatory. The Chinese Communist Party. Free Hong Kong and Tibet, and lay off Taiwan. Edit, sorry forgot about Xiangjing, because it's not a sovereign state, but free the Uas slash Uias. You've been visited by the ghost of a very important man. Pay your respects by liking and subscribing, and he'll grant you three weeks of good luck. Good luck. Good luck.